Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer from English with Jennifer. Imagine you're in a friend's kitchen. You've been preparing a meal together. You made some soup and now it's time to serve it. What do you need? How about this? Do you know what it's called? If you don't, you can say that big spoon we use to serve soup. That thing or that whatchamacallit we use to serve soup. But wouldn't it be nice to know the actual name? It's a ladle. Let's go over the names of other kitchen utensils, okay? You're making a cake and now it's time to pour the batter into the pan. You need to scrape the bowl with a spatula. And if you want to flip a pancake or turn a piece of fish over, you also need a spatula, but a different kind. It may look like this, or maybe it's made of metal, like this one, spatula. If you're making pancakes, first you need to mix the batter. What can you use? A wooden spoon or a whisk. Whisk is both a noun and a verb. This is a whisk and you can whisk the eggs, for example. If you want to open a can, what do you need? Well, I have two choices. I can use this, it's a can opener, but so is this. A can opener can be manual or electric. Do you ever use shredded cheese, those long pieces of cheese? If you need to shred some cheese, you need this, a grater. You can use this for cheese or vegetables. There's something similar to this. Do you recognize it? What do we call the small pieces of an orange peel or a lemon peel? Zest. And how do you get the zest of an orange or a lemon? With a zester. <laughs> this is a zester. Do you like mashed potatoes? I love them. You can't mash potatoes without something like this. A potato masher, or simply masher. I guess you can mash other things like beans with this. Masher is the noun. Mash is the verb. Mashed is the adjective. I mashed the potatoes with the masher to make mashed potatoes. Do you eat seafood? How about shellfish? Do you ever buy nuts that haven't been shelled yet? Certain foods we need to crack open. How do we do that safely? <laughs> well, let's see what I have. Oh, I have this, a cracker. So we can crack a crab leg with this, or you might use a wooden mallet, like a little hammer, mallet a wooden mallet. Which would you use to crack a crab leg? Do you have something like this in your kitchen? It's a meat thermometer. If you're a vegetarian, you might not have much need for this, but I use this when I roast turkey, for example. I can't imagine Thanksgiving without a turkey. So a meat thermometer helps us tell when the meat is done. And if I'm making turkey, I definitely have use of this and perhaps this. This is a baster and this is a basting brush. We use these things to baste the turkey. Baste means spread the juices over something. I can baste the turkey with a baster or a basting brush. Okay, I just want to show you two more utensils. Let's talk about dessert. You want to roll out cookie dough or roll out a pie crust. What do you need? A rolling pin. 
This one belonged to my grandmother. All right, you rolled out the crust, you baked your pie. If you put ice cream on top, you have pie a la mode. <laughs> That's what we call it, a la mode with ice cream. Well, you might need this. an ice cream scoop to scoop the ice cream. Scoop is a verb and a noun. We can scoop the ice cream with an ice cream scoop. Scoop can be this utensil, ice cream scoop, or it could be the ball that we form with this utensil. You can put a scoop of ice cream in a bowl or a scoop of ice cream on a cone. Let's review. Ladle, spatula, wooden spoon, and whisk, can opener, grater, and zester. Masher, crab cracker, and wooden mallet. Baster, and basting brush. Meat thermometer. rolling pin, ice cream scoop. Am I making you hungry? We'll end here so you can get something to eat. Please like the video if you found it useful and interesting. As always, thanks for watching and happy studies. I'd like to say a very special thank you to two kind-hearted patrons, Ruslan and Jules pledge $2 a month. Thank you. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Why not join me on Patreon? And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube.